Hello guys, welcome back to Modo AVS 2.0. Today I have with me the KTM 390 Duke Gen 3. In the blue variant, you get two color options here. One is the standard orange one and this is the slight bluey tone. So this is going to be the all new KTM 390 Gen 3 Duke. So let's talk about what has been updated in this bike. So this gets this gets 399cc single cylinder engine which produces 46 PS power, 39 Newton meters of torque and 273 is the ratio for power, PS per ton power to weight ratio. So it gets adjustable front and rear suspension, it gets 183mm of ground clearance, 168kg is going to be the curve weight and 15 liters of fuel tank. So let's talk about what are the differences between the old KTM Gen 2 Duke and the Gen 3 390 Duke. But before that, it starts at a showroom 3,10,520 rupees only. It gets Bluetooth connectivity with 5 inch TFT display. 5 inch TFT display is quite large enough for bikes, but this is going to be, you know, one of the most premium bikes in this segment. Then it gets riding modes, the rain, street, and the track mode. So in the track mode, you can hold up the RPM up to 7,000K and then launch the bike. So this, this is a special feature. So if you're looking for the premiumness that comes with this bike, this is specially designed for tracks. Talking about the suspension, you get a slightly offset suspension, a good R&D by KTM from WP Apex. And then the engine has been increased, the power has been increased, and the gearing is also quite a lot better on this bike. Apart from that, the discs are made hollow on the front. So this, you can see the hollow part. This helps in reducing the weight of the bike overall. And this is like, you know, the hub mounted disc brake in the front. So this is going to be giving you a lightweight. Lightweight means more power, more torque, and it's being, it, it, it will be easy to cruise around in the city traffic as well as track specifications. Apart from that, this bike gets traction control. These nice looking DRLs on the front. One, two, three, four, and this, these are actually DRLs and this is the headlight of the bike. You get turn by turn navigation in the new Gen 3 Duke. After that, you get a bi-directional quick shifter in this bike, which is also a good, good thing. Now talking about the changes that has been done in the Gen 3 Duke compared to the Gen 2 Duke is that the 373cc which was on the Gen 2 Duke has been increased to 399cc 2.5 horsepower bump in this bike 2 Nm of torque has been bumped up again thanks to the R&D by KTM for the same price near about same price segment the Gen 3 Duke produces 2 Nm of more torque and 2.5 horsepower more as we knew that since you know its launch KTM has been the leading in the power segment and that gap is also always growing with the new and lighter motorcycles by KTM. And you get early power delivery, 6000 RPM and beyond this bike is just amazing to pull. So this is how the bike is going to look from the left. It's, it's totally amazing with the standard crash guard over there and this is perfect for your day-to-day -day needs for touring and for track purposes. bike is 4 kg lighter than its counterpart the Gen 2 and that makes a huge difference in the torque and the power. Near about the same dimension, same length, the chassis has been changed of course, the suspension has been made offset but you need, you get more power, you get cornering ABS which you didn't get in the Gen 2 Duke. 
you get more ground clearance low seat height bigger air filter and of course you get the sleeper clutch clutch so this is going to be the overall look of the bike you get LED turn indicators that's going to be standard after that, talking about the instrument cluster so special thanks to KTM Vakrevadi Shivajinagar Pune for showcasing the KTM Duke 390 Gen3 so they have a plethora of bikes over here Bajaj KTM Yuskuvarna so I would suggest you visit their showroom book your test ride from here book your dream KTM bike from here so just show what all bikes they have got so this is you know this is the new KTM 390 Gen3 in the orange color look at the classic looks that it gets it's you know going to be a perfect for a buyer who wants to do touring some kind of enthusiast speeding some kind of enthusiast you know punch in the bike this is going to be the perfect bike after that you get the duke 200 in again duke 200 in the different color the budget friendly duke 125 you have the adventure 390 series the duke 200 over here you get the yuskuvarna brand over there that will be soon bought to mode avs 2.0 so that you get you know our ktm 390 gen 3 talking about the instrument cluster but before that i just wanted to show you how the drls are going to look like this is going to be one of the most amazing things to look on this bike this is going to give you an excellent road presence when you have these four drls on and it, anyone who looks at you in the rear view mirror is going to recognize that this is a beast so looking at the curves from the front it it looks quite bulky bike you know 390 cc segment this shows it off okay so the engine is quite you know compact but the fairing makes it a bit larger okay talking about the mirrors the mirrors holders come from you know standard bajaj the fittings on the dominar not going to vibrate at all not going to vibrate at all talking about the instrument cluster so you get the information about your motorcycle over here you get bike info you get trip info over here standard you get the speed control over here and you can do a bit of settings over here but i wish to show you the most premium features you get the ride mode so ride mode is going to be street now we can make it to track we can make it to rain and we come back to street after that you can switch your abs on or off from here you get abs modes as well so road super moto road super moto okay you get two modes over here after that coming to motorcycle traction control you can either switch it on or you can switch it off switch it off you get both the things over here and coming to the bike info you get coolant temperature fuel range battery odo service a lot of information in this 5 inch touch screen it's going to be overwhelming for anyone but you get all the basic info this is neatly clustered a lot of info but it is quite neatly clustered and it gives you know it's, it's going to be good enough in the sun because i am shooting it in the lights and this doesn't glare at all coming to the speed control okay you get you know plethora of options over here these are you know fun then you get a navigation over here for the icon after that you get standard indicators over here abs temperature engine check light and then the oil you get gear position indicator over here and the speed over here and when you come to the standard console this is how it is going to look like a lot of lot of information so talking about the instrument you know buttons these are quite finished you know a smoothness and a special touch to it you know feels feels premium and you get the indicator switch over here that is also quite premium so i'll just show you how the indicator is going to look like when it glows it, it is it is you know amazing and goes nicely with these drls and turn it off and the engine kill switch is over here and the ignition button is over here after that you get you know hazard lights over here which is going to give you hazard light is here and hazard lights you know you can turn it on or off and these are your hazard lights so perfect for touring you get adjustable lever for your clutch over here on the left side this is adjustable it's good on the brake lever also you get the adjustment switch 
so small touch that makes it great after that you get adjustable suspensions over here so you don't need to you know open it up with a spanner or something you can just do it with your hand so this is going to be a special touch a special suspension setup where you get adjustable at the front adjustable at the rear you get disc brakes and braking is of no question let me just sit on the bike and show you how the bike looks like so now I am going to sit on the KTM Duke 390 and going to show you how it looks like. So once I sit on the bike, I feel a lot of comfort in the seat. I sit in the bike and my back is always straight and my rider triangle is going to be perfect for long touring. After that, when I take a look forward, I'm going to see the road very nicely, but if I turn my head a little down I see the entire screen and that's going to be perfect actually and this 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 gives me immense confidence for a long touring getting out of the bike is also easy even though the pillion seat is a bit raised so talking about the seat comfort it's neither too hard neither too soft this is going to act like a backrest for you if you are sitting alone and for the pillion as well this is going to be a good seat so this is going to give you a good comfort on the long tours and the fact that it is extended from here starts your gripping from here and you you can see this tiny touch so the seat is perfect actually because this gets a tiny touch over here for gripping actually your gripping starts from here this this position till here all the way here so this is going to be amazing and a very nice touch a small touch for your gripping so this is neither too hard neither too soft a perfect seat i would like for touring and in the city is going to be perfect you are going to get a good angle when you sit on this bike so overall you know a neat and clean finish you can mount your rear luggage over here for touring a rear tail bag or you know you can even go for the saddle stays for the saddle bags over here you get a nice grab handle so that you can tie up your luggage over here and from the rear this gets you know number plate holder a nice tail tidy with led turn indicators and this is going to be something special fin like approach so the main plus point of having this bike is that you get a hub mounted front disc brake, a WP Apex suspension that is adjustable with hands. Apart from that you get you know this offset set suspension so that the seat height is reduced but the ground clearance can be increased. This is real R&D by KTM. So please do visit KTM Vakadevadi showroom, here you get Yuskuvarna, you get KTM, you get Bajaj, everything. So visit here and you will get to test ride and book your KTM Duke 390 Gen 3 from here. A nice experience at KTM Vakadevadi Pune.